Hi, everybody. I really am Tova Sherman, the CEO of ReachAbility, and I really do want to talk to you in five minutes or less about some of the first steps if you want to be a disability competent employer. I want to thank everyone out there for watching this video and remind you all that although this is a brief, quick, hey, how are you? This is what I want you to know. There's so much more we can learn together, and I encourage anyone watching this video to feel free to reach out to me if you have more questions or interest in what we're doing to support everyone across Canada in not only being ACA compliant, but actually being truly disability confident employers. I think the reason I named the book Win, Win, Win is because I truly believe there are three wins in everything a disability confident employer does. And I thought I would start by explaining that to you. As I say in the book, Win, 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 is three wins for a very specific reason. I have to tell you a quick story. Back in the day when there were used car salesmen and they were known to be a little shady and someone might go in to buy a car, the idea was the used car salesman had to kind of fool you, right? Get you to buy that car that wasn't worth it, the real junker. But that was the idea of one person winning and one person losing. And frankly, they never come back. So that wasn't working. Now, many years ago, I think in the 80s, uh, Stephen Covey, a very well-known uh, business author, coined the phrase win-win. And what he meant by that was, well, let's go back to the used car salesman. He's selling a car, but instead of making a bunch of money and never seeing that person again, he decides, I'm going to make a little less, maybe give them a slightly better car, but they'll return and they'll tell their friends. So we know what the, the, the guy who has the used car is winning. The customer comes in and instead of being sold some junker and never coming back, he's now building a relationship with this customer and the customer gets a decent car. Maybe he paid a little more than he'd like, but it's a decent car. That's win-win. Well, that's held pretty long in business, but the truth be told, Canada, if we want to truly be disability confident and diversity confident and we want to include everybody, that means adding a third win. Let me explain. Here at ReachAbility, we service our clients. Clients are all kinds of people from marginalized groups. I always say we're inclusive of disability, not exclusive. And although we do have a lot of people who self-identify as living with disability, we have a lot of diverse populations who feel genuinely marginalized coming to utilize our services. Well, clearly the fact that we offer them these services at no cost to them is a win. The fact that these services include moving them forward to an idea of literal independence, both socially as well as financially, that's a really big win. Now, where does the other wins come in? Well, an agency like mine that is dedicated to doing this work automatically wins when we see success from a client. So the two wins are pretty easy. But where the challenge can come in is really finding that third win. In my case, it's not that difficult. The entire community, the employer that hires that person, that brings diversity, unique thinking, all of those things, well, jeepers, that's a definite third win. So I challenge all of you watching this video today when you leave to identify where the three wins are in the business that you do every single day. And if you do that, I can promise you, you'll be a little bit more disability confident, I think, than you were the day before. Keep that in mind. One of the other things I really like about the way we laid out the book is that we don't only give you the sayings and talk a little bit about what those sayings mean and how to apply them, but we actually have an in-practice session section. And what I mean by that is where you can actually apply the learning right then and there. That's something a person like me on the ADHD spectrum really could use. And the idea being that it's one thing to have a saying. I call them inclusionisms. It's another thing to explain what the saying means. And then it's a whole other level when you give it in practice and show leaders across the country how we can apply that learning right now. I want you to know the time is limited and I want to share all the 18 inclusionisms, but what I'm going to say is you're going to have to follow up with me because our time is up. Oh my gosh, I want to talk about right person, right job. I want to talk about staying curious. I want to talk about why the fish stinks from the head, but I've got no time. So this is Tova Sherman, Tova at reachability.org. Follow up with me. We'll talk later. Bye for now.